understand. It's because my husband left me. Well, Ray, you don't understand. It's because my, my stepmom beat me. Well, Ray, you don't understand. It's because my job fired me. Okay? As long as you are using excuses, as long as you are using language to describe why you are where you are, you will stay where you are forever. But Ray, I'm just telling it like it is. Telling it like it is keeps it like it is. You want to you stay where you are? Then keep telling everyone around you why you are where you are. You'll stay there, guaranteed. Now, for some of you, you get too much of a payoff. Well, Ray, people feel sorry for me, and I feel important when I tell them how bad my life is. I get it. I understand. That's your payoff. Your payoff is not success. Your payoff is not motivating others. Your payoff is not impacting others. Your payoff is not creating significance. Your only payoff is getting attention from others in feeling important. That is a low payoff. You're better than that. You're bigger than that. And here's what I assure you. There are people in tougher situations than you've ever been in that created success despite. Now, some of you are mad at me. Some of you are thinking right now, you're like, what's he know? You know, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could go through the list. But would that really serve you? But here's what I guarantee you. If you don't start seeing yourself in a better situation than you're currently in, it will never get better. See, this is step one. How can you possibly create a vision if you're constantly justifying why you are where you are? Telling it like it is keeps it like it is. Justifying where you are keeps you where you are. Unless you want more of what you currently have, stop using language that keeps you there. And I'm going to help you out with that. Here are common phrases. You certainly don't have to raise your hand if you've ever used them, but I bet some of you use these on a regular basis and you, you wonder why you're not progressing. Guys, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to give you the reality pill because people around you are patting you on the back and saying it's okay that you're not successful and I say it's not. It's not okay that you're not successful. You know why? Because there's people out there in worse situations than you that you're meant to inspire. You're meant to make an impact. You think it's just chance that you happened on this webinar with some madman? No, it's not chance. It's because you're a giant. It's because you're meant to play big. I will not pat you on the back. I will not tell you it's okay. I'm going to tell you that as long as blood is pumping through your veins, and I believe it is, you can create a great life that inspires a nation. You can create a movement on this planet that changes society. You have that power. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know exactly what your destiny is. But if I can't get you to stop using non-servant language, it'll never happen. So my job on this webinar is not to make friends. This is not to get, you know, uh, greeting cards. This is to cause a change within you so that you start looking at the planet in a, with a different set of eyes. With the eyes of a giant with the eyes of a juggernaut, with the eyes of an unstoppable force, because that's what you are. You are an unstoppable force. It's just too often the people around you are saying it's okay that you play small. It's not okay. Because you know what? There's a, there's a disabled veteran that would only be inspired by your story if only you would keep moving forward instead of biting into your excuses. So here's some phrases. If you want to stay where you are, if you want to lack if you don't want to ever inspire anybody, they keep saying these phrases. Here we go. I don't understand, Ray. See, some of you have been not understanding since kindergarten because it gets you attention. I don't understand. That's your go-to. I don't understand. I don't understand vision. Don't get it. The thing about not understanding is it gets you attention. It gets you a payoff. You get to, you know, in grade school, you had teachers say, oh, honey, I'll, I'll, I'll help explain it to you. And you learn, ah, when I don't understand something, I get attention from people. How is that serving this planet? 